Hello, welcome to our community group thought that comes from our message this Sunday uh, in Galatians chapter 6, uh, verses 11 through 15, uh, pursuing righteousness through boasting. In verse 15, Paul writes, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but a new creation. What does the Bible mean when it speaks of a new creation? Uh, the words themselves there in that text really declare what it is. It's a, a new life. Uh, it doesn't say an improvement on the old nature, but there is a new nature, a new life that is given. In Ezekiel uh, chapter 36, verses 26 and 27, uh, uh, the Word of God gives some really descriptive terms to describe uh, what God was going to do for the nation of Israel. And I believe the application uh, can be very uh, real for what happens for the believer at the moment of salvation. He says, I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you will keep my judgments and do them. Uh, a real key to that particular text uh, is a little further along in verses 36 and 38. Why does God do all of this? Uh, well, we know redemption, God is redeeming man, but for what purpose? Verse 36 uh, of Ezekiel 26, Then the nations which are left all around you shall know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruined places that planted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. The end of verse 38 says, Then they shall know that I am the Lord. I tell you that God does this new creation within the life of the sinner to the saved for the purpose of his glory. Consider then what this new creation then looks like, how it works. And I tell you three thoughts here for just a moment. First of all, a new creation is a new way of seeing. A new creation is a new way of thinking. And a new creation is a new way of valuing. First of all, a new way of seeing. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Paul writes, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Uh, faith is a way of seeing accurately. God knows and is, complete, and is in complete control of all things. Therefore, when I have faith, or when I am leaning into God to guide me and give me wisdom, I can see the way. And this brings God's God glory because we trust in Him. We wait on Him, not our own sight, but by faith, trusting in Him. A new creation is a new way of seeing. Secondly, it's a new way of thinking. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, uh, Paul writes, uh, Set your mind on things above, not on the earth. Uh, not on worldly things. Uh, earthly things, sinful things. Uh, those things are mentioned here in verse 5 of Colossians 3. Fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedient. When we are thinking on those things, earthly things, temporal things, sinful things, that brings the wrath of God, destruction, judgment upon those who are thinking that way. But we are to think a different way, minds above. Uh, and those things are found in verses 12 through 14. Tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, you shall also forgive. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Uh, when we... Uh, have a new creation, we are to be thinking in a new way, and that means thinking about those things which are above. This brings glory to God. Verse 17 of Colossians 3 says, And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Uh, so a new creation is a new way of seeing by faith. A new creation is a new way of thinking. Minds are set above godly things. And a new creation is a new way of valuing. In John chapter 3, verse 30, uh, John says, He must increase, but I must decrease. John is saying that Christ must advance, for He will advance. There is truly no way to stop the will of the Father. 
value Jesus over myself, value his glory over my comforts and my pleasures. Now take a few moments and discuss the following questions and challenge yourself on how you are seeing, how you are thinking, and how you are valuing. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you are a new creation. You should be seeing things in a new way. You should be thinking things in a new way. You should be valuing things in a new way. All for the glory of God. God bless.